Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and if you're new, a welcome. So today's video is something a little bit different. It's not a dedicated clothing haul that my channel normally does. I thought I would do just basically an all-rounder autumn slash fall clothing haul, which will just include like jumpers and jeans, you know, things that keep you a little bit warm. However, when recording this video, I checked the weather forecast and next week we're having like a mini heat wave. It's going up to like 29 degrees. So there's me buying my jumpers, buying everything to keep me a bit warm and we're gonna have a heat wave. Okay, so the first item and it's literally like one of my favorite items in this haul. So I thought, why don't I start off with one of the best items and it's this massive jumper, massive thick jumper. It has a nice low v-neck it is very oversized so how i would style what is is probably have like one shoulder off so pretty much like how i'm wearing this cardigan now that's how i would basically style this jumper i'll just have like one shoulder off and maybe with like a nice lace bralette underneath i just think this is so essential for the autumn slash winter period i just find it's just it's gorgeous and look how massive it is it is extremely massive here's the sort of material Honestly, I am obsessed. This is from the brand Bershka. So as I've said before in like loads of my previous clothing hauls, Bershka is, I think, a sister brand of Zara and um, Stradivarius. The quality is just amazing. It's so thick, it's so soft. It reminds me of the chenille, I think that's how you say it, the chenille material, which we all know that chenille is literally one of the most I would say most popular material to have when it comes to jumpers and loungewear and knitwear and do you know what like if you was to go on any other site and you see something chenille you know that that is going to sell out quick so you need to buy it this is honestly amazing this reminded me of something that i saw in h&m which unfortunately i don't even know why i didn't buy it but yeah but i just find this so gorgeous how i've done it is because it's so oversized i've just cuffed the sleeves just to give it more of a baggier relaxed kind of fit honestly i'm obsessed with it i think it's gorgeous everybody needs like an oversized jumper you know to keep yourself warm and snuggly and it's just like i can just mm, i cannot wait for autumn slash winter to get all cozy have my hot chocolate but then when i saw the weather forecast telling me that we're pretty much gonna have another heat wave i was a bit like hmm don't know if i'm happy about that i think i am but then at the same time i'm not because i really want just to get all my like cozy jumpers out so this item here i think was kind of like an impulse buy it isn't something that i normally gravitate to get um it was just i just thought why not and it's just this little small crop top i thought this was adorable and what does it say on it it says phases of the moon mystique dreamer i mean it's not something that i tend to go for but then at the same time oh look i've got a bit of a makeup mark on there but at the same time it's 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 a basic you know like it's it's if it's not too cold outside it's something that you can wear like a nice little crop top with some trousers cardigan or a shacket or however you want to wear it i just think that these tops can be sometimes essential you know it's also a top where it's like i have nothing to wear kind of top so you just shove this on you know it's easy because it's not just plain it has a little something something so i do love kind of like slogan tees i just don't tend to buy them enough this fit gorgeous it was a lovely like cropped length also i forgot to let you know so all the items that i purchased would either be in a size extra small a small or a size six but what i'll do is i'll make sure to link all of the items in the description bar for you including the sizes what i got just in case i forget to tell you one here sometimes bershka pull and bear stradivarius they don't have an extra small or an extra large they either have small, medium, large. So Pull and Bear, I don't know if they come under the sister brand of Stradivarius, Bershka, Zara. The reason why I just think, because their labels all look the same. It also says Join Life on the label as well, which I know Zara, Stradivarius, Bershka have. So maybe they all come under the same umbrella. I don't actually know. But yeah, I got this in a small. I'm guessing this didn't come in an extra small. Fits perfectly. I loved it. When I buy on their websites, a lot of the time they suggest I'm a small and not an extra small. And I do agree. I feel like the extra small runs very small. So if you're like a size four, then you're probably an extra small. If you're a six, small. And then I would say medium would be a size eight. So I do think that these brands, they don't necessarily cater for, I would say, you know, size 14s, 16s, 18s. 
Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't, which is very, very annoying. Right, so this next item is from Collusion. So I got this off ASOS. And Collusion, I always say I love their brand. I love their concept. I love just how original and unique and just different their clothings are. I love the fact that they do like a lot of unisex clothing as well. I love the fact that they're very all-inclusive. I would say they're very inexpensive. You know, they're quite cheap clothing. And I use that term loosely. I don't mean cheap as in bad quality. But every time I get them, I'm just so let down. And this is one of them. And the concept of it was gorgeous. This is really nice green long sleeve top. It has a higher neck. So you just zip it up and it comes to about here. Um, it's not too high. I loved the color of it. They explained it like a marble print. So I did like the fact that they have these like kind of two toned greens. It's just really thin material. It, it wasn't flattering on me. It was... It was tight in places, so it was tight like on the arms, but then it didn't like fit under my armpits properly, if you know what I mean. I had that like bagging kind of like situation going on, which wasn't nice. It just, you could tell it was quite cheap material as well. Like it would mold into certain places on my body, such as my arms, but then other places it would just be really baggy, unflattering. I didn't feel comfortable in it. It just wasn't the best material. It was very thin material as well. That is definitely going back. So the next item is from Stradivarius. And if you have watched a couple of my videos, a couple of my ASOS hauls, you know that I love this brand. Stradivarius is literally hands down one of my favorite brands. Stradivarius can be hit and miss sometimes, but most times I think they're more hit. Anyway, I thought I'd show you this. This, unfortunately for me, I think it's a miss. You might have to let me know in the comments down below, but it's this like cardigan here. And it, it's cute, it is cute, but I feel like I've stolen my Nan's cardigan. That's generally how I feel. I feel like I've stolen my Nan's cardigan. It's, it looks beautiful on the website. I'll show you the material. So this is what the material looks like, which I find is gorgeous. I love the little embroidery details of the flowers, but I genuinely feel like I have stolen my Nan's cardigan. It fit nicely, it did. It was comfy, it was a really nice fit. It was kind of like oversized knot. Do you know what I mean? So you can like hang it over your shoulders. So you do it that way if you wanted to, you know, wear the cardigan that way. Or you can obviously like pull it a bit forward so that it's more of a lower plunge. It was really nice, but I remember I, walk, I walked out of the bedroom after trying it on and I went to my boyfriend. I was like, oh my God, I think this looks too nannyfied. And he literally turned around and he went, what are you buying? Like, seriously, why are you buying? that that doesn't that does nothing for you i do like it i did actually like it but for me i think just how it looks and it is more grandma style i know that's the kind of trend of you know um cardigans being kind of like the grandma kind of style but i felt like this was too grandma because there are a lot of cardigans out there that doesn't give me that sort of vibe you know okay so next item is this gorgeous jumper so it has like color block so it has a green sleeve a purple back and a kind of this looks quite camely on the camera, but it is actually more of a... It's a part of the green colour family. I don't know what colour it is, but I did really like this on the website. I love the concept of it. I love the fact that they did all these different kind of colours. It looks really soft, but I don't know why I didn't recognise this, but this jumper has a collar. And for me, it looked quite weird. So it's quite a open neckline and then it has a collar. I like the idea that they did something different, you know, all the different colours with a collar. I didn't see that on the website though. But then I looked back on it and it did say it was with a collar. So I don't even know why I didn't notice that, but it's it's nice, I, I like it, but this again will have to go back. It's not quite thick as well, it's quite see-through, so you can see your bra through it. Feeling it now, it does feel quite soft, but putting it on, it was such an itchy material. Like, I don't have sensitive skin, you know, I can wear pretty much anything, but this one was so itchy that I just wanted to take it off. It looked cute on, but to me, I felt like it wasn't that flattering on me. The neckline, I wasn't too sure about. I do like a nice plunge neckline, but when it's like very, very open and very, very on show, I feel like on my frame and on my kind of like body shape etc it just doesn't look right so this is definitely something I am sending back however I do think it will suit so many other people if you do have sensitive skin this jumper isn't for you I don't have sensitive skin and it was a bit itchy so we have more knitwear this one here was an absolute flop 
don't like it, definitely going back. It's this cardigan here, so it's half green, half again, looks like camel, it's not, it's like a um, brownie colour? Sand? Sand. Is it sand? Is it camel? Is it sand? Is it... I don't know. Let me show you properly. So this is the cardigan here. And this is from the brand Daisy Street. So this again I bought off ASOS and I said in one of my ASOS videos that I love Daisy Street. Again, I love their concept. I love how different and original that they are. I love the fact that they experiment with their colors and their clothes. They experiment with their designs. They do styles and designs that you wouldn't see in the likes of like New Look and River Island and Primark, you know? I don't know if you can notice, look how big it is. You know that this isn't gonna be form fitting. My cardigans, if I buy them, they either have to be quite baggy, but not like this, you know, like it has to be baggy everywhere, like thicker arms and just just like like that granny cardigan. It's oversized in a nice way. But this one, it looked like it's trying to be form fitting, but baggy at the same time, and it just it just doesn't look right. So I'm really not a fan of this. You'll be able to see in the trial clip just how baggy it is. When I saw this on the website, I was expecting it to be a lot more form fitting, a nicely fitted on the arms, round the waist, you know, really like hug me, tuck me in. Do you know what I mean? Those sorts of cardigans. But this just really wasn't it. Also as well, the material is so cheap feeling. I feel like it's, and this is gonna sound so bad, but I just feel like, you know, I bought something off Wish, you know? I'm not slating Wish, because if you buy your stuff from Wish and you've got good quality clothes from Wish, that's fine, you do you. But I'm just saying as in like, you know, if you get something really cheap off a site that you don't maybe necessarily buy from and you get it and you're like, oh, this doesn't feel or look like what it looks like on the website. It just wasn't what I wanted in a cardigan. Okay, so the next item is a two piece. And I will say to you now, this is, other than the first item that I showed you, the jumper, this would have to be probably one of my favorite items as well. So it's a two piece, but you have to buy them separately. And this again is from Bershka. Everybody knows I love a bit of Bershka. It's back in the two piece of the cardigan vibes again. So I have this like nice little crop top here. It is quite a, high cut crop top it's just slightly just under the boobs i love it because it's knitted as well yeah so you have this crop top and then you just layer it with the cardigan so here's the cardigan this is the best two piece i have bought in such a long time like just i don't know why i feel like i've gotten into the hype of the cardigans a lot later i felt like this trend came in just before summer in the uk it's like oh it's too cold to be wearing that stuff and then when summer hit it was way too hot to be wearing this stuff you know you had to wear like really like lightweight clothes and now i feel like the transition between summer and autumn these are perfect this cardigan honestly is amazing really nice thick quality this is what i was looking for in a cardigan so how this fits is what i wanted the daisy street cardigan to fit like and it didn't but this is how I wanted it. It fits so nicely. It fits really nicely around the arms, very snug. Um, the buttons are quite small. I'll just show you the buttons here. So these are the buttons. They are very, very tiny buttons and so are the button holes. The button holes are very tiny as well. So I do struggle to kind of get them in there like but i don't really wear it buttoned up sometimes i'll put one button on or sometimes i'll just leave it undone with the bralette showing a bit i just think this is an amazing two-piece and honestly if this is your style and this is something that you love i would 100 percent recommend getting your hands on these you do buy these separately if you've watched a few of my videos as well you know that i've said quite a few times i'm not into the mum jeans kind of style the baggier jeans style i prefer skinny jeans well ignore me i found the best pair of jeans ever so these aren't mum fit jeans they are called balloon fit jeans See, if i thought i was going to like experiment on jeans i would go for mum then balloon, because balloon even, to me, in the name, it feels like, oh my God, that's gonna be massive. Here are the jeans. I am actually obsessed. I would say this is actually like one of my favorite jeans that I have in my wardrobe. But here they are. Here are the beauties. I am obsessed. I love these. So I actually got these in a size four. I don't even know why I got these in a size four. I thought I bought them in a size six, but I actually am so happy I did get them in a four. So what I love about these balloon fit jeans, so I do love the style of baggier jeans on other people but for me they just didn't look flattering because of how petite I am and my legs are quite skinny like my legs are quite slim I don't like my legs really I just think 
yeah i just wished i was a bit more curvier let's just say balloon fit jeans if you are on the more petite side i think these do wonders for your body if you're not that curvy but you want to look a bit curvier this is amazing so what these jeans do is they really cinch in your waist they balloon up kind of like the thigh area as you can see they're quite balloony they do look quite balloon as you can see they come like out and then what they do is as well they cuff at the leg like by your ankle area so you get this like really nice hourglass kind of like figure like so it like cinches in the waist it comes out and then it like cuffs at your ankle this is one of the most flattering jeans that i've worn the wash of the jeans is also very nice this is going to be a staple in my autumn winter wardrobe they're comfy as well not too tight did i tell you what brand it's from the brand is stradivarius as well oh and also another feature that i just love that zara stradivarius first go do with their jeans is this gorgeous like leather detail i just think it just makes it look so much more expensive 100 percent recommend go pick this up if you want to experiment on new jean styles this is definitely the one to definitely experiment with so because those previous jeans kind of like set it off a new love for like bigger jeans i decided to get another pair of balloon fit jeans and these are from new look i haven't bought new look jeans in literally the longest time to be fair every pair of jeans that i bought from new look i was always impressed with i just felt like i leant towards top shop more you know so this is a black pair of balloon fit jeans you cannot go wrong with black jeans i think black jeans are an essential these aren't your jet black jeans they're more of like a gray kind of like kind of like washed out black jeans i think that's how they actually describe it it's like a washed out jeans i got these in a size six i do like these jeans but they're definitely not like my stradivarius jeans they are flattering in the sense that they do cinch in your waist but these are i would say more actually of a mum fit jean i don't feel like this is like a balloon fit jean like the previous one i feel like it's just really big you know and it doesn't really cuff at the ankle as you can see the ankle doesn't actually cinch in the ankle length is kind of like the same size as the whole leg so to me i feel like it just looks like a mum pair jean and then just like rolled up at the bottom these already come pre-rolled but i think you can unroll them yeah i did feel like with this jeans one thing that was quite unflattering was that it gave me kind of this like baggy kind of feeling by the crotch area which I wasn't necessarily a fan it was kind of tight around that area but a bit baggy at the front so i'm not 100 percent sure i don't know if i'll be keeping it it's just because i do find jeans are an investment the stradivarius ones honestly hands down they tick every single box that you know that i'm looking for in a jean this however just falls a bit short i do think i am very picky with my jeans so i just think that this one might just have to go back just because it's not the fit that i wanted you know so this next item is this bodysuit so this is the bodysuit from asos and it's kind of like one of those popular bodysuits where you see that the piping just underneath the boob so it just looks like it's going to give you like a extra support boob lift this reminded me of a bodysuit that i have from opoly and i feel like opoly was kind of one of the first brands to come out of this actually i think it might have been house of cb and then opoly so opoly are more of an expensive brand so i I do feel like with Opoly, you do pay for the quality that you get. Just feel like this was an absolute flop. It was see-through. It had no support on my boob area. I don't know if you'll be able to see how see-through it is. Yeah, like you might be able to see my fingers. Yeah, it's just it just wasn't great quality for the price. Twenty pounds on something that is see-through, not great quality, quite thin. If you compare this to the likes of Zara, their basics are range up to like fifteen pounds, seventeen pounds maybe, and the quality is ten times better than this. Like this basic that I'm wearing here is actually from Zara, and this was like four pound ninety nine, and it's not see-through. Don't recommend see-through, thin. Doesn't do nothing. Doesn't shape you. Doesn't have any support near the booby area it just it was just a bit of a disappointment okay so the last two items we are going on to trousers but they're not just any trousers they're flared leg trousers i don't think i've actually shown on my channel my love for flared leg trousers which is really weird because i go on about i only love skinny jeans but flared leg trousers it's something different you know and i love wearing flared leg trousers especially on night outs i am obsessed so this is from the brand Bershka again. You know that I love Bershka. So you're not gonna be able to see much when I show you, but I just think these are beautiful. I think flared leg trousers especially are very flattering. They hug your thigh area and then when it comes to the calf, 
it flares out. Um, my calf areas are very quite thin. I don't really like my calf area. So I just find these are very flattering. It makes me look more curvy. I did get this in an extra small. Bershka do run a bit small. So the extra small is a little bit smaller for me, but not to the point where I would return it. Do you know what I mean? It, it fits okay. It's just a little bit snug. Snugger than I would like, but this sold out really quickly. I don't even think they have any other sizes. So I'm just going to have to make this work. But I love the fact that they had this really nice rib detail on there. Let me just give you a close up. So this gorgeous rib detailing here. I love that ribbed detailing because I just think sometimes brands do ribbed really wrong. You know when you get the shiny kind of rib material, it's so flattering, it lifts up your bum. It just gives me curves that I don't have and I just, I love it. You can wear this during the day with some trainers, boots, crop top. You can wear it at night time with some skinny heels, you know, barely their heels with a nice crop top or a blazer shoved over. I just think these trousers are so versatile and honestly, I'm obsessed, I love them. They do this in the color of a, like a stony color. So anybody who loves their neutrals that love their nude colors, they do that in that as well. So the next is again, like I said, another flared trousers this is very different this style was very different as well what brand did i get this from <laughs> i got this from stradivarius i got this in a small instead of an extra small this is where it becomes slightly a bit annoying because the last one i got in a extra small and it was too snug on me and this one i got in a small and it's a little bit big on the waist not too big where like i would not wear it but just looking at it like that you can tell the waist is kind of big you know like it's not as my waist isn't that big but I don't, I don't mind it because, like I said, autumn, winter, I like kind of wearing like baggier clothes and being comfy. So it, it doesn't bother me. What I loved about this is definitely you can wear this during the day and during the night just because of the material. It's like a woolly material. It's so comfy and it's so warm. Like I said, it has that really nice like fleecy kind of like wool material. And it's so flattering as well. I'm just going to show you the legs here. So that's to flare at the bottom. I think the pattern makes my bum look a bit bigger as well. Okay, so that's it for the video. Thank you so, so much for watching. I will make sure to put all the links in the description bar for you. If you did like this video, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up and the post notification bell so you can be notified every time that I post a new video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.